Okay. Good afternoon, folks. Um, Sava review, night five. It is the Sattva Classic 14 and a half inch queen plush soft. Um, I've got a couple of a couple of little video clips of the firmness of the mattress and um, some pictures to share with you, as I had promised in yesterday's video. So I need to uh, come clean on something. We purchased the Stearns and Foster that we were looking at, and we we are likely going to go with it. Um, that, however, has to is a special order item because no furniture stores anywhere near us carry the ultra plush version of it. So we need to wait a good couple of weeks before it's ready. Um, that's going to give us plenty of days on this sofa to really give an idea as to how comfortable it really is. Um, like I said, we're, we're committed because we made the mistake of letting our old mattress be hauled away by the gentleman who delivered this mattress. Um, that's a mistake I probably won't make again. Um, and when we get the Stearns and Foster, I'll set it up and we'll give it a couple of days and then I'll be able to compare and contrast side by side how we're looking. Um, because remember, the key here is that the Stearns and Foster comes in at a Stearns and Foster softness level of eight, which if you flip that around, is the same softness level as the Safa that we ordered, which comes in at a three um, on a scale of one to 10. So we'll see. Um, I, can, I, 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 I feel like I'm safe in saying that the wife and I are both gonna be spending pretty much every night, all night long on this mattress at this point. Like I said, we added a one and a half inch memory foam topper to it and that alleviates a lot of the pressure point pain that we both feel. Um, I do feel that even if we made it three weeks, a month, five years on this mattress, it would probably still be too firm for the wife. She uh, She's having more pressure point problems than I am. My issue is that I just can't lay for any length of time on my side, even with the memory foam mattress topper. Um, Again, it's it's those it's those four points that really push into the mattress. It's my the middle of my thigh, my hip, lower rib cage, and my shoulder. Um, okay, so I'm going to do a little editing here, and hopefully this works out well, so I can describe what I'm talking about. But the first thing I want to show is a couple of pictures. The first picture you should be taking a look at is just a picture of the mattress itself on its box spring. It might look like there's three pieces there, but just know that it's the box spring at the bottom. That's the five inch box spring. And then it's the full 14 and a half inch mattress. That, that middle um, sewn trim differentiates where the coils, the two levels of coils are in the bottom half, bottom 70%. And then the top three inches are supposed to be the pillow top portion of it. It's an interesting design in that most pillow tops you can see look are sewn in. Um, I guess you would say beveled a little all the way around so that it actually looks like a pillow resting on top of a mattress. And this one does not do that. Um, I found that to be a very interesting design. I don't see any major differences in the way the mattress actually performs. The next picture is more of a straight down look as to what you'll see um, on the top. You're going to see they, they, they mark it and brand it. It's a very clean design. Um, something I have not mentioned previously, but the pattern that they had sewn into the top of this mattress to give it the divots, and I actually like the spacing of those and the way they feel. Um, the softness of the mattresses in question. However, the feel of the top and the material is, it's really high quality and I will give the manufacturer that. The next one you should be looking at is a closer up picture of the, of the stitching and the top of the pad. You're gonna see that um, everything is sewn in. The designs are sewn in. The logos are sewn in. 
everything is sewn. And I'll be honest, the craftsmanship is good. The next photo is a closer view of the um, seams that are that are sewn about. And you'll see that there's also um, some straps to hold it by. We, we moved it around, we grabbed those straps. A lot of times you might move a mattress with some kind of weight by those side straps and feel like they're just gonna tear off. These don't. Um, full disclosure, the mattress itself is not, it's definitely not one of the heaviest mattresses you'll ever um, have. It, it moves fairly easily. I would, <clears throat> in my experience, and this is staying at tons of hotels and in family guest rooms, and so I've probably slept on and felt hundreds of mattresses at this point. I would say that this mattress, weight-wise, comes in right about the 50th percentile. It's about as average weight as an average queen would be of its size. For comparison purposes, our, our king size Stearns and Foster that was hauled away must have weighed three or four times more than this queen size sofa. The next one you'll see is a super close up of the stitching and the seam work. And, and, I, and I gotta say, the quality is very, very, very good. Um, definitely an A plus grade on that. Next, I took a picture of the mattress tag, and I don't really have any any notes other than if you look right below my left index finger where it says model M37051, that 7051 number matches the next picture, which I'll put up right now, from the delivery card, which identifies the 7051 as the Safa Plush Soft. So that leads me to believe that this is actually the Plush Soft. I know I had mentioned that I'm going to explore with the manufacturer what the chance is that we got something that we did not necessarily order, but I, I got to tell you, in this day and age with a manufacturer of this size, um, with the volume that they do, for their built-in quality controls at their um, manufacturing plants to not be able to catch an accidental mattress sewn in tag and the delivery tag um, being wrong at the same time, the chance of that is so low that I'm, I'm just led to believe that this is in fact the soft. So we'll see as we add more, more days in on it. And now what I'll show you is just some video. One thing you'll note is that I am pushing down with a lot of weight. Um, I mean, you can tell that if you've ever played football, you've probably heard of the white knuckle um, test, and that is when someone's putting all their weight forward onto their hand that's on the ground, their knuckles will turn white. If you look closely, you'll see that my knuckles are turning white. I am putting some pressure on this, and you'll see how, how much it gives. Second video. Now what I'm doing is I'm just using some, some pressure points here. Like I'm just, you can see how much it moves when I'm sitting on it and with my elbow when I push into the mattress. Um, and then you can see me sit on again. And you can see it, it does have some give. And those edges, um, upon further inspection, as I look at it, those edges are not the firmest, despite the fact that they're supposed to be firm edges. Okay, so those are some of the pictures of the of the quality of the mattress and the and the bounce in the mattress. You know, we, I've talked at length about the pressure point pains and whatnot, but I will say this much. Um, the quality of the mattress is very good. It just might not be the right mattress from a softness level for us. You know, and I can't fault the manufacturer for that. Like I said, I'm going to update every single night that we sleep on this for up to a month, up to 30 days, depending when the Stearns and Foster comes in. And then what I'll do is I'll also post a couple on the Stearns and Foster and compare the two, because then you'll be comparing 
a lower cost online luxury mattress with a higher cost um, mattress that you can only buy from retailers that is considered a mid-tier luxury. So th th they both use luxury in, in their titles. They both use terms like plush and soft and firm and medium and and they they market against each other when it comes to being luxury mattresses. Um, and I'll, co I'll compare and contrast the two because these two are supposed to be the same level of firmness, which is a a three or an eight, depending on which way your scale goes. It's considered a plush or ultra plush, if you will. Um, and, we'll, and we'll talk about that when that happens, whether that be in seven, 10, 17, 20 days. I'm not sure how long. But that's it for today. Um, if, if you are watching this video and you do have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section and I'll try to answer them the best I can.